hello guys welcome to my channel lahoria guys look at the screen this is what we're gonna make today we'll make our own picture gallery we will be learning in this tutorial about action script and the buttons so let's get started guys so guys we'll start with the new layer we'll name it thumbs and i will import some pictures on the stage better i'll import in the gallery direct in library so this picture will not show direct on the stage only into the library I just hold on because my laptop is going so slow it's due to pubg don't don't play guys it's, it's wasting your time but anyway that's fantastic game so far so guys here it is all the pictures now they are in my library here's library you just open click see i select four pictures all four pictures here just drag it onto the screen and here we go in the properties and we can resize our picture 40 by 40 meanwhile i put it 40 by 40 and we will align it in the oops i need to select here and the stage now we align it exactly in the middle of the stage guys then we can change the size this picture will use for thumbnails only here it is in the same way we'll bring all our pictures on the stage and we'll resize See all is done, now we'll bring all in the middle of the screen, so all on the same frame guys, see, we'll just put it here, all in a line like this. Here guys, we'll just arrange them like this and 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 there's an option here it is see the distance between the between the pictures become same if we move one no need to move all manually just press this button here it is did you see that guys it's fantastic so now next step is we'll make this thumbnails as button i will choose here button button one like this just it's become a button see the outline of the button and the outline of the other is different now so all three i mean all four i will convert into the button all what we'll do whenever we will click the button the picture relevant picture will appear on the screen so this is the last button now here it is guys it's done I'll just save it so guys we'll add one more layer here here and we will name the layer as peak this is the layer where we'll put all our pictures the main pictures when we will click on the pattern the picture will appear on the screen those pictures we will put all here on this layer so here we choose the first picture then as usual just resize the picture put 
any number here and then we will see how does it look like when it comes on the stage choose the stage choose the frame and bring it middle of the screen oops it's too big guys so we will just resize it as we like okay okay no okay i will make it from here this is how the size guys i think it's quite better just bring it as we like and here it is so the first picture is done guys in the same way we will bring all our pictures press f7 bring a new keyframe empty keyframe guys and then go to library bring the next picture put it on the stage go to properties and then change the size of the picture guys for me it is a bit difficult because my screen recorder is capturing much of the screen area so for me it's a bit difficult sometimes to use properties then guys bring it on the stage here it is the same same in the size so that's it in the same manner we'll bring the third and fourth picture so here guys we are done with the four pictures first frame second frame third and fourth that's all so let me rearrange the pictures guys a little bit more here it is just select the picture and bring it here. align align the picture that's all guys is done so what we gonna do now just check uh, all these buttons let's check how it's working now so far hit control and enter oops it's working but 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 you can see anything is is working so fast so what we'll do we'll add one more layer here and name the layer as action by pressing f7 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 i got four keyframes so guys i will go for the action script and i write here stop stop on the first frame so see the result now see the movie is not running as before when we load our movie our animation animation just stopped because on the first frame of actions action layer we just wrote stop so with the first button guys on press go to and stop here here on the second on the second frame so i write two just close it close it and run it just press the second button oops it's working guys we just added our code on the second button we'll copy the code because the same coding we will use for all the buttons choose the third button go to action script and paste it here in this one we will just change here the frame it is third frame so we'll just change it with three hit control enter and we will check the third button second is working already and third 
yeah it's working so first second and third now the fourth one guys just paste the same and put here for the frame number four because the picture on the fourth frame just hit control enter to see whether it's moving or no so yeah it's moving so guys three four two three and four is working only the first one is still not working because we didn't add any action script so just close it and just choose the first one go and paste the same paste here the same coding and just choose it one that's all that's all guys just hit control enter to see whether all of them working second third fourth second first yeah all are working so guys for me everything is done i'm done with them with my work so if you want to keep keep watching there is a lot more for you to see so you can enhance your slide picture picture show you can add more items movie clip you can you can put the put, you can put the border as you like so guys i wanna go now and you keep watching because for me everything is done there is no more action script there is no more only the finishing so guys thank you so much for watching keep watching hit like subscribe and do whatever you can do with the video i mean thank you guys thank you for watching bye bye Thank you.